All right, guys. So we're about to talk about what is now the grand mal seizures. Grand mal seizures. So grand mal seizures is also known as what generalized tonic clonic seizures. All right. Just like the name implies, all right. Even if you don't know what it means, from seeing the word grand means that like a whole lot of things are wrong. It's like a very crazy thing, right? Okay. So tonic, you see the tonic phase, you see the clonic phase. Tonic is like out, clonic is like in. You understand? So that's why they call it generalized tonic clonic seizures. So grand mal seizures are now commonly known as what tonic clonic seizures. They are a type of generalized seizures that affect the entire brain. Grand, a big space. Right, to me, that's how I actually reason it out. So symptoms, it actually has two faces, which I've already looked at in this picture. All right, but we can look at them again. You have the tonic phase. All right, this is the tonic phase, the first one, A. Eh? This one also that the person loses consciousness and their muscles suddenly contract, causing them to fall to the ground. Now, this phase usually lasts for about 10 to 20 seconds. Okay? Clonic phase. All right? The muscles goes into rhythmic contractions, alternating between flexing and relaxing and convulsion that lasts for about one to two minutes. All right? So they also have the post ictal confusional fatigue. That one is after all those drama, you are weak. You understand? All right? So additional symptoms is screaming. So some people may cry out of the beginning of a seizure. Loss of bowel or bladder control. This may happen. They can urinate or even defecate on their body. All right? The post ictal confusion that we're talking about. The person may be disoriented and confused after the seizure. Okay? So fatigue is uh, sleepiness is common after the seizure. Headache. They might have some headache because of all those trigger, all those jacking, jacking, and all of that. All right? So this is a tonic phase. Is a clonic phase, a post ictal uh, confusional fatigue phase. Okay. Causes is um, is commonly associated with epilepsy, but can also be triggered by other factors like if you have low blood sugar, high fever, stroke, brain injuries, and all of that. Okay. Treatment is you use anti seizure drugs. Like phenytoin, carbamazepine, vaporate. Alright. In some cases, surgeries, nerve stimulation, or dietary therapy may also be considered. Alright. So uh, what do you do during a you see this one they're actually adding um all right, aura stage, tonic stage, clonic stage, pork etal stage, confusional fatigue, and all of that. All right. So what do you do during a seizure? So if you witness a seizure, witness somebody having a grand mal seizure, protect them from injury. So help to clear anything that is around the floor so that you don't hit it. Do you understand? So that you don't hit it and injure yourself. Then turn them on their side. All right. So this just help to keep the airways open. Uh, do not put anything in their mouth. All right. Then time the seizure. All right, so always, well, you keep you keep you keep track of the time. This will now help you. It will report to the medical professional better, all right, and all of that. Once the seizure is more than five minutes, call emergency service, right? So this is it for the grandma seizures.